dispose of this annoyance at once. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Danganronpa. As always, I'm dead. Don't we got cave. Hi. And last time, Twain's. Mmm, don't do it. Don't trust it. <laughs> Anything with Monokuma's face on it is completely evil. Yep. Well, time to touch it. Ah, oh, goddammit. I just need to get on this train. How'd you mean? No. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Protest him. The worst he can do is kill you. <laughs> and you're already gonna die. Well, there's really no need to be cautious. It's not like it's going to speed up, drop, fly, or anything else. So he's just gonna sit there. Do all of those things. Yeah, if it doesn't, do, if it doesn't do any of those things, it's just gonna stay stationary. <laughs> I'm not gonna believe you this time. So you better be telling the truth. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna. You're an idiot. Yeah, of course he is. Kazuichi, you're an idiot. The fucking dumbass. I'm gonna believe you this time. So you better be telling the truth. She already said it. As soon as we all stepped on, the smallest train started slowly moving. You said it wouldn't move! <laughs> and went inside the dim tunnel. Ladies and gentlemen, this train is heading toward the funhouse! Yay! Allow me to guide you all to the world of surprises on this train that runs toward glory! Please be careful of where you step. Also, it's dangerous to stand up all of a sudden. Well, it's not like you have time to do that. <laughs> oh god, he's gassing us. Yes. Is this gas? Ah. Oh. What the fuck gave it away, Fihiko? Was it the knockout gas? Was it the fact that this is something Monokuma wanted to do? <sighs> as soon as that white smoke surrounded us, our bodies started to feel soft, like mollusks. That's similar. What the hell is that comparison? Alex I don't Miller. know. Like if I was, if I was thinking, uh, yeah, my body started to just go limp, I wouldn't immediately go to mollusk. I might go to like if I wanted something soft, I might go to marshmallow. But if I wanted limp, then I'd go like wet noodle. <laughs> I mean, that's the go-to. Is this like a Japanese thing? Maybe, yeah, probably a Japanese thing. Our brains felt like they were starting to melt into a puddle of mush. And in the end, we lost consciousness. Good Lord. It's the strawberry themed pequel to Petscop. Oh, pet scop. <sighs> when I woke up, I was someplace that didn't make sense. It was clearly a place I've never seen before. My sense of reality was still hazy, so I wasn't able to react right away. Where is it? I more. need a toilet! <laughs> I am a toilet. <laughs> <sighs> Transforms into super toilet. <laughs> <laughs> However, when I looked over at Nekamaru standing tall in a wide stance, my sense of reality felt even hazier. Mm, man, I slept good. Oh my. Huh? Where are we? What? What the hell is this? Voices expressing surprise and confusion began to surround me, one after another. It seems that the others have started to wake up as well. Man, this is like a late 90s video game. <laughs> Why was I sleeping in a place like this? Good night. <laughs> oh well, I'm going to go back to sleep. Goodbye, guys. Good lord, woman. <laughs> That's obviously wrong. No, don't! You seriously can't do that! I assume that this was that gas's doing. Brilliant deduction. Gundam. But Nekamara just fought it. <laughs> that gas we were forced to breathe right after the train started moving. Must have knocked us all out. And then we were brought here, huh? I see. Okay, I just have to say this. Yes. He could have not lied about the train speeding up. 
if he had just gassed us as soon as we got on board. <laughs> but now Monokuma is clearly a liar. In that case, this must be the interior of Fun House. Welcome to the Strawberry House! Strawberry House? Isn't this the Fun House? No, 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 it's pronounced Fun House. H-A-U-S. Of course it's the Fun House. Strawberry House is a part of the Fun House. A part, you say? Allow me to explain. Now then, allow me to explain already. Please, for the love of God. Ta-da! This is the Strawberry House in its entirety. You are currently at the indoor park, located on the third floor. As you can see, there's a lot of playground equipment with strawberry designs. How fancy. Now then, next is the second floor. There is a lounge that's perfectly perfect for freshing up. And I've prepared five guest rooms that are lined up like boom. Guest rooms are divided up by quality grade. The Lux room is soundproof and has excellent air insulation. Air insulation? Um, Monokuma? The standard room may have so-so insulation, but it's still pretty decent. And the crummy room has severe airflow and draft problems. There are 12 of you, so you must split up the five rooms. Deal with it, bitches. Also, no one can spend root. No one can spend time with each other. Remember the school rules. No one is. No boys are allowed to sleep with girls. That concludes my explanation of the second floor. And now, last but not least, onwards and upwards to the first floor of Strawberry House. Onward and downwards, you mean? Like you guys, like these kids actually know whether they're going up or down. Fair. <laughs> this exact moment. On this floor, there's a room called the Final Dead Room that's like all BOOM! Oh, my room. You can enter the Final Dead Room at any time. No, you may fucking but not. Be extra cautious. What? No, you may fucking not enter my room whenever you want. <laughs> but be extra cautious when you pick the difficulty setting. On the same floor, there's a hallway called Strawberry Hall. And when you pass through it, there's a truly strange, enormous standing tower with a boom, boom. So you think he means bombs or it's like do it with a dawn? I think he's doing it with a dawn. It's called Strawberry Tower. Please use your own two feet to get a feel for what the inside of Strawberry Tower is like. When what you put it like that, room? I don't want to. This concludes the tour, but I think it was difficult to understand with my wordy explanation. So you should all use your own two feet to explore the inside of the building. Fuck you, I'm a floor- I'm exploring my hands. I was gonna use my nose. That's all for me. Any questions? Hey, hey, hey. Hell yeah, we got questions, obviously! What's this? Really? Really? It's your question, really? To bring us to a place like this. What are you planning to make us do this time? <laughs> Gundam just fell him out. That's right. I have a lot of questions, but let's start with that one first. <laughs> ah, didn't I explain it to you? <laughs> this is the motive this time. Yeah! <laughs> An escape game. Like zero escape. A escape game? In other words... Concept this time is a closed circle within a closed circle. Like Hope's Peak Academy back then, this fun house is a completely closed space. Hey, um... There's only one way to get out of this closed space building. Killing! When the killing begins, I'll let you guys out when the next killing happens. <laughs> let the escape game begin! Oh god, this is so much worse than what we had before, which was... the same. <laughs> huh? What? I'm so glad I brought water. <laughs> what the fuck? I said it better myself. We, 
We can't get out of here till the next killing happens? This is troubling. I knew this was a trap. I never expected it to be so straightforward. Of me. If only I'd erected a magic barrier, I wouldn't have had to breathe in that gas. Mm. I let my guard down and ended up falling asleep. Hey. You're a robot. <laughs> like, why would gas even work on a robot? That's supposed to be when you make your move. Gas shouldn't pose a problem, but... <laughs> If they activate my sleep mode, even I won't stand a chance. <laughs> they put him in power saving. <laughs> huh? Sleep mode. Oh. That's right. It's a cutting edge function that puts other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Well, that would be so useful. Just press the good night button on the back of my neck, and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. Oh, man. What's the point of that function? <laughs> Didn't I just tell you? If my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Do you even need the sleep? <laughs> in order to awaken from sleep mode, I just need to set the alarm in my chest. It's all possible with just one touch. Jeez. Damn it. I'm gonna ask where. He's not even listening. Oh, it probably wants to live like a human as much as he can. Such is the sad nature of robotic organisms. At any rate, Monokuma sure stuffs him with a lot of useless functions. Anyway, Mechamaru must have lost conscious because his button was pressed. Damn it! What a blunder! This <laughs> 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 is just kidding. My name is Mechamaru, the rock and roll clown. I do uh, cocaine. I, uh, I do toilets. <laughs> <laughs> what a blunder. You must have taken advantage of that white smoke that went around me. I'll never let that happen ever again! Hey, hey. It would not surprise me in the slightest if, like, Nakito, as they were passing out, pushed the button. I don't want to ruin the game, bonk. <laughs> but... <laughs> exit? Is there even an exit? I mean, if there was, this wouldn't be a closed space, right? It'd make Monaco... <laughs> It'd make Monokuma's motive meaningless. How? Then we could escape. Like, if there's... Well, A, you were brought in, so there is an entrance, thus an exit. Mm -hmm. And also, you were told that you would be brought to the exit when you killed someone. Thus meaning there's an exit. The ho the, I, he's given up hope on there being an exit that we can access. Because if Monokum was able to put like put a door on with like six-inch thick steel bolts, like, we're not doing anything against that. Six-inch steel? What, did he lose funding? You're right, 12 inch. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> you played the first game. What are you giving up for, dumbass? If we were brought inside this place, there's definitely an exit out somewhere. Amazing. <laughs> Fuck you. Heart that refuses to give up until the very end. That must be hope. Bruh, go into the go into the flower patch if you want to do that shit. Don't look at me. <laughs> Yes, I understand. Then let's explore the inside of this building with that map we got. Well? But exploring on your own is too dangerous. I'm gonna take a nap. You guys team up with each other. Damn right. Then, Akane, you come with me. Oh, that's an unusual combo. This guy be... Keep it in your pants, dumbass. Huh? It's nothing like that, dumbass. There's just something I want to talk to her about. I don't mind. Whatever's fine. Wow. wow. When you two stand right next to each other, there's a noticeable height difference. <laughs> Drop it, bastard. You. So I can actually give you a, a rather unfortunate fun fact about Akane. Is it a spoiler? No. No. Uh, she became 
a master of acrobatics because perverts were constantly trying to steal her panties off of her body. Is that something we would have learned if we had spent time with her and learned her backstory? I don't think so. I think it's from one of the anime. Ah, okay. Damn right. All right, then. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. All right, then we'll go on ahead first. With those parting words, the two of them left the area. Miss Sonia. Well, Miss Sonia, I guess it's time we also. Sonia already left the Gundam. Ah! <laughs> Suck it, you fucking simp. Uh, oh. oh, you got dumped. Of course not. I idiot. I didn't get dumped. Why would I get dumped? In fact, I'm re really popular. I'm really popular, B -b -b Baka. Sim. That's obviously not true. <laughs> oh, Hajime with the silent sick burns. I hope that was silent. No. That was silent. It was blue. Now then, I think it's time for me to get going too, so... Yaki, would you like to go together? Huh? Oh, I'm going to bed. Me? Yep. I haven't really had a chance to talk to you, so I thought this would be a great opportunity. For now. Then take me with you too. Three people is okay, right? Huh? Well, that's fine, but... <laughs> I'm going to orgasm all over you. I mean, oh, I get it. Hajime is trying to avoid... Uh, Kaz uh, <laughs> oh, I get it. Kazuichi is trying to avoid Hajime. But, what? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what are you talking about? Avoiding Hajime? It's nothing like that. Mm. What? What do you mean? Well... Call it a hunch, but maybe Kazuichi can't stop thinking about it. You know, the possibility that you're the traitor. What? I, I was just, I just said what Kazuichi was feeling. Well, you know, truth is we don't know anything about you, so it's not my fault if I don't trust you. What does that mean? We've been together this whole time and you still don't know who I am? Well, yeah, your entire identity is your ultimate, so like that matters. It's not like I know the real you. Bitch, I have so many friendship crystals from you. <laughs> it's like how we didn't know anything about Mekon. The... Oh, that hurts. The that that actually me? hurts to think about, because I really liked Mekon. <laughs> the only reason we're here is because you were the one who suggested we go to the fun house, right? Are you saying I lured you guys here? Why would I do that? That's right. It's not that far-fetched, you know. So I just realized that my na last name is a beverage. <laughs> you just realized that? Uh. I'm sorry, Hajime. I really do want to trust you, but I'm an asshole. I just can't yet. That's why I'm going with Chiaki. It's not like I want to go with Nagito either. Damn! Yeah, so you would so you would take the actual person who actually planned a murder and was compliant in a couple of others over a guy who Versus someone might. You, would, uh, you might suspect a little bit. But you're saying Nagito is more trustworthy than me. What the hell? Yeah, that's what he's saying. Damn it. Why did this happen? Yep. You a bitch. <laughs> if that's the case, it is what it is. Why don't you come with us, Kazuichi? Mm. Aw, but... It's fine, Chiaki. Just go. Yep. I don't have any of my friendship crystals yet, though. Got <laughs> it. I'll see you later. Yeah, weirdly enough, the people who I spent the most time getting, like, friendship, like, doing, like, social stuff with was Kazuichi and Ibuki. <laughs> Hey, Buki's cool. Yeah, but she's dead now, so fuck it. Yeah. With that, Kazuichi, Chiaki, missing a comma, and Nagito all left together to explore the area. They just don't use the Oxford comma because they're savages. I could make a joke here, but I won't. Huh? I guess we're the leftovers. Looks like we're not very well liked. Ah! I feel so bad for a Nagamaru. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like complaining about it will change anything. 
Where's the trainer and the robot after all? I'm not the trainer. <laughs> oh, that's right. My apologies. Well then, Hajime. Let's show everyone else the value in leftovers. Let's magnificently find that exit with our very own hands. If we do that, it'll solve everything. From the top rope. Well, I mean, I don't know if we can use our own hands because ne because Monokuma did say we had to explore with our feet. <sighs> did you're, you're, that just sounds like your wrestling voice. <laughs> your voice for Nekamara sounds like your wrestling voice. When people stop trusting you, it seriously sucks. There's a lot of different Flower. types of flowers blooming in the garden. Looks like there are sunflowers. But I guess there aren't any strawberries. Yeah, let's... Okay, yeah, we already... Alright, let's head out of here. No matter where I look, everything is decorated with strawberry Honestly, patterns. This, this, this whole, this whole funhouse is giving me a headache. Yeah, it's... <laughs> It's not great. It is so garish. It is so painful. I don't hate strawberries, but if these patterns continue, I might start to get sick of them. I don't like strawberries. <laughs> Same. I'm okay with strawberry flavor. I don't like strawberries. Mm -hmm. According to Monokuma's map, the only thing on the third floor is the park we're currently looking at. And the dead room. That's on the first floor. Right. Oh, that's the first floor. Sorry. Yeah, this is this is the park. Second floor is a sleeping area and like a lounge. And then first floor is the dead room and the hallway leading to the strawberry tower. Boom, boom. How many girls are left? Uh, Chiaki, Sonia, um, Akane. Akane. And I think that's it. Mm. So then, shove the girls all in one of the nice rooms and they can't complain. And the guys rock, paper, scissors over the remaining four. Oh, fuck that. I'm taking the nice room. Fuck them. You think Hajime has the balls to take a nice room? I wouldn't. <laughs> just like, yo, fuck all of you. Just the second everyone starts arguing who gets it, I just walk in and take it. <laughs> like, if you guys, you guys can take it if you want, but I rub my balls on everything, so fuck off. Then, looks like I personally don't have any business on this floor. See you later, Mechamaru. <laughs> just so you know, Hajime. Let me know whenever you're feeling thirsty. No. Is he talking about a soda fountain? I don't want your soda fountain. I don't really want to drink anything that comes out of his eyes. Oh, that's cool. I got another nozzle. Zip. For some reason, I thought it came out of his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I remembered he had a soda fountain, but I don't remember where the soda fountain came from. <laughs> it was last episode. And how long ago was that? Like two weeks? Yeah. My also, memory doesn't last a day. You also played this game before. Yeah, it's been a long fucking time. According to the map, there should be guest rooms in the lounge on the second floor. Oh. All right, let's go explore the guest rooms. The lounge is all you. Yep, got it. Oh, we can't just let you explore the uh, guest rooms. We need to be able to know if there's a hidden Monokuma in there. Right? Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. There's a map. Hmm, so this is the lounge. I hate it. <laughs> it's as ugly as everything else. This is also completely covered in strawberries. It's gonna be difficult to relax here. I guess for now, I should look for, I should look for things I might be able to use. <sighs> Gundam, eh? Oh look, Sonya, never mind. <laughs> 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 I am a piece of garbo. Ah, there's a telephone. The fact that there's a phone in this building is clearly suspicious. With well, gilded grapes on it. Yep. Will I be able to call somewhere with this? When I walked toward the telephone, I immediately noticed it. What? I'm oh, sorry, you're green. What, what? What is this? A it's, penis. 
instead of numbered buttons, there's a single button with a grape image on it. If your balls look like grapes. <laughs> but why grapes? <laughs> why not strawberries? Well, for now, I'll give it a press. Oh, wow, it's not even doing individual rings. It's just... Does it sound like it's connecting to somewhere? Because it sounds like it's broken. It sounds like a glitch. But no one's picking up. Let me tell you this. What a mysterious device. It may be used for summoning rituals. A novice shouldn't carelessly touch it. It's probably not that dangerous. Aside from the button, it looks like any other regular phone. Anyway, why is my ear bleeding? <laughs> that's not your ear, that's your soul. Sure it is, buddy. But it I look, am Gundam Tanuk! But it doesn't look like a normal phone. And I don't even know where it's connecting to. This too must be the will of causality. Jeez. What's going on? That is not that the does fucking... not sound right coming out of his mouth. Tanaka has never in his life said jeez. For my, my, my four dark devas of destruction are investigating the area, but it seems there is nothing to report. Why have you given up? There may be still something on this floor that we have not yet searched. Yeah, you're right. Still too soon to give up. I mangled that one. <laughs> Good. I leave this matter to your discretion. All right. I just mangled that one. I should try exploring the first floor I haven't seen yet. Who this old bitch? There's an old portrait hanging on the wall. Why would there be a portrait in a place like this? It seems very out of place. Also, the placard on the portrait. Hope's Peak Academy founder, Izuru Kamakura. Why would a portrait of someone as important as the founder of Hope's Peak Academy be in a place like this? Also, the builder's a fan. Also, this name. It's so hard to pronounce. <laughs> Oh, a cock. I mean, cock. <laughs> I don't know how it'll sound in the recording, but it sounded like you said cock. Oh, I mean, cock. <laughs> I'm so bad at enunciation. Thanks uh. to the wall clock. I know what time it is. Bold assumption. Yeah. But knowing the time isn't going to help Kuma's things. Fucking with you, man. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like those. It's like Vegas. You like look at the clock and it says it's five o'clock. Then you spend five hours. You look back, it's still five o'clock. How meaningless to think this savage tone would confuse me. Go by four dark devas of destruction. I have waited for you, invading black dragon champi. Exert your strength to your heart's content. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> I shall wait until champi returns with his report. I love the chubby one the most. He has such skillful control over his hamsters. He might really be able to communicate with them. I see, I see. This place is supposed to be a lounge, but it seems I may not be able to calm myself and relax in here. Seriously, I thought this was a mu I thought this was an amusement park with bad. I thought, sorry, I thought the amusement park was in bad taste. But this is even worse. I agree. Monokuma's eccentric taste would shock even an Indian. Whoa, Sonya, what the fuck? Shock an Indian? <laughs> what the? Because it doesn't fit your taste doesn't mean that it's bad. I'm not super familiar with Indian culture. I like bright colors in, in their clothes, and that's pretty much all I know. Okay. You know what I mean? But, like, that sounded a bit racist. <laughs> a little bit. Why are you standing around here? Weren't you going to check out the guest rooms? Huh? Girls well, are naked in there. It seems the standard room over there is already occupied. Yeah, somebody pulled the dead. Occupied. Then... I should go explore another place first. Saw boobs. Into the deluxe suite. Oh, it's awful. 
Never mind. You can have this room, Dead. Yeah, no, I'm good. I am okay. I'll take drafts. I'll take. I'll steal a lollipop. First. I'll take not being in a room. It's the monitor he used to communicate with us. The future foundation is behind this. The fact that Monokuma used these screens means he's their ally. Monami. No, it doesn't. Monami, Monokuma, the future foundation. They're all our enemies. That's true. And that's it. This place is just to come in and Unleashed. be disgusted at. Because fuck, that place is horrendous. Let's see if the other one's as bad. Yep, yep, it is. It is. Hi, Nakamaru. Watch you seem place. excited by this room. However, I never expected we'd lose three people during my absence. Did we miss the beginning of a conversation? I think so. Yeah. Yoko and Dabuki. Those two were quite eh, the noisy we, bunch. You could do without Hiyoko, but Ibuki was fun. It's as if a fire was smothered. And I cannot believe Mikan was the one who murdered them. Uh, that part is really hard to believe. She was a sweetheart up until the despair disease. That's why, no matter what shape you're in, we're all extremely happy you came back to us. Hmm? But I must live up to everyone's expectations. Sure. Yeah, oh my like, god, is that pop art on the wall? Yeah. Oh, I hate this room so much. Yeah. I don't have a hatred for pop art, but it just stands out so much in that room. It's so bad. Ooh, I got an achievement for walking. Congrats. I can hear voices inside. Sounds like someone's in there. Chucky, harder. <laughs> no, Nichon, hey. I'm stuck. Hey, hey. There's a hidden monokuma. Hey, what do you want to talk about? Hey, what do you want to talk about? Well, well, you know, I'm sure you don't want to hear this since I caused a similar incident. And I already know that a guy like me has no right to say this to you, but, hmm. but when I look at you, I just got to say something. What? And spit it out. Hey. You don't need to act so stubborn, you know, because I know what you're going through. Huh? So. The only reason you're standing here right now is because someone sacrificed himself for you. You feel guilty about that. Isn't that right? Like... Hey, what are you talking about? I know. So you don't want to be honest about it, huh? Well, I understand that feeling, too. You? Seriously, what the hell are you talking about? So... But like he said, it's better just be alive. Might hurt to look at his painful appearance right now. But you're, but you're much better off because he's at least still alive. I mean, for me. Sorry. Huh? Oh, I... He was venting, you vapid... <laughs> are, are you crying? I... Right now, I feel very grateful to her. But I can't tell hey guys, her anymore. Guys, crying like a bitch. So. Get in here, we gotta get, get him in the group hug. <laughs> we are different, so. Huh. Make sure you tell him how grateful you are. Huh? Wait, so. What are you trying to say again? Uh, duh, I duh. quietly left the guest room so they wouldn't notice me. <laughs> Hidden Monokuma! Just awkward starfish out of the room. Yeah, that room is actually marginally better. Like, I think I might be able to close my eyes and not still go blind. Fuyuhiko took the time to talk to her, but it looks like Akane didn't really understand the conversation. Uh, is that really a surprise with Akane? <laughs> yeah. Maybe you somehow found a way to cook that conversation into, into a meal. Okay, not gonna lie, this place looks sick. Yeah, I'd sleep here. Fuck yeah, I'd live here. Like the evil background? And drafty means cool, so... Yeah. I mean, fuck, it comes with a bed. Yeah. I mean, they all come with beds, but... Where are they supposed to poop? And around. 
That's what the wardrobe is for. Think they're about to change the clothes? Very true. <laughs> <laughs> I do love the JoJo sound effect that comes in every time we walk into the room. Yeah. Yeah, seriously, that is a decent bachelor's apartment. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, hell, not even bachelor's apartment. Me and my wife would fit in there. Well, no, a bachelor's is the size. Oh, there's a bathroom. I hope I hope that's a bathroom. There wasn't anything terribly important on the third or second floor. But that doesn't mean there's nothing here. I should look around thoroughly. But first... Ooh, that's a lot of poop. Time. <laughs> Flush that poo. And I cannot give her a gift right now, so... Yeah, she's in a cocoon. I could leave her a present. You don't know. <laughs> it might go bad. Friend. Uh, duh, duh. What happened? Did you get tired again? No. Nope. Constantly. Oh, I was just thinking. Why strawberries? Huh. Why is that? Mm. Personally... I think tangerines are totally fine, too. Or even some fruits like peaches and apples. And if they had gone with bananas, then we could have a penis joke. <laughs> yeah, any of those fruits would have been fine. Hey, hey. Then why strawberry? <sighs> Who knows? Yep. They're not helpful. Like at all. No wonder uh, Kazuichi thinks you're a bad guy. Anyway, it's such a mystery. Hey, who's been the person who's won every trial? Well, maybe we should fail. I don't know. <laughs> I'm too tired to function. What was that conversation just now? <laughs> <laughs> right, Kazuichi, you little bitch. Uh, what? What is? Is there anything you want to say to me? Don't hit me. No. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, that that possibility isn't zero. I do think that it's extremely close to zero, but never gonna be zero, no matter what. Possibility of what? Me being a traitor, I guess. Uh. <clears throat> Explain your terms. I'm sorry, Hajime. Oh Jesus! Put the, the. Okay. I, I started sprinting Everyone and accidentally walk left. Hope. Everyone is a symbol of hope. They're all completely different compared to a quitter like me. I'm terribly sorry that someone like me is forced to be with everyone like this. You could just kill yourself. <gasps> Brilliant! Yeah. So now they're thinking, don't kill yourself. But in his case, you know. Yeah. Everyone else... Don't kill yourself. You're important. Someone's gonna miss you. No matter what you think. This building is peculiar. Look at the inside of this bathroom. I can't take a peaceful shit like this. <laughs> oh god, I knew it was gonna come down to the toilet. Preventing me from taking a good shit. This house is certainly defective. This looks like a bathroom. Every time I see a bathroom, I get this lonely feeling. When the world's my constipation gonna be fixed? Oh no. You can never poo again, can you? It's a wall clock. There's a WC above it for that reason. <laughs> a wall clock above the bathroom door. Jeez, what kind of placement is that? A, I, think a, I think an all right placement. Yeah, it's not a bad placement. You're gonna notice it every time you poop. Yeah. Uh, isn't this an elevator? Well, that's weird. The only stairs between this and the between this building, the second and third floor. Does this mean there's a basement? There's a button right next to the door. A grape image. It's the same as though the same as the button at the lounge phone. What will happen if I press it? And so, without really thinking about it, I tried pressing the button. 
Press the button. It's not reacting at all. Is it out of order? I don't really get it, but... Looks like this elevator isn't usable. Okay, didn't think... To... Okay, there's no option to look at the locked box beneath the button. Yeah, that's not suspicious. What you talking about? I just noticed this. <laughs> I'm Roxo! <laughs> yeah, that, there's Dr. Roxo. This door. Looks like it gives off a different vibe compared to everything else. Rock and roll! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Allow me to explain. The final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the Octagon, the fabled Holy Land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. There's another student here? What? Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. Yeah, sure, let's do it, bro. Life-threatening game? What the hell is that? Did he just say I could obtain the ultimate weapon if I win? How stupid. Who the hell is going to do that? The clock starts ticking. <laughs> what is it, Ajime? Did you find something? That final dead room place sounds suspicious. But going inside might be a little dangerous. Monokuma did mention a life-threatening game. It's not even worth playing if all you get after winning is a weapon. Oh. Now then, the other should, have, should be at the Strawberry Tower. Or at the far back of the Strawberry Hall. Show some spirit. Let's get going already! Let's do this! And we will do it next time. Thank you all for joining us. We'll be back with another one of these some point soon. Till then, I'm dead. I'm Cave. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, have a wonderful time. Excuse me while I whip this out.